welcome to the first tutorial brought to you by 3D Gamix. This is the introduction, and I'm going to show you the image while importing it as our reference that we're going to be modeling. I'm going to go to my side view, and then go to View Image Plane, and I'm going to import an image. I have it on my desktop called Lightsaber. As you can see here, this Lightsaber has a lot of little details that can be added in. We're going to block out the basic shape and then go in and do some finer detailing. Let's get started. First off, let's go to the curves and let's click on the CV Curve tool. Of which this is the EP Curve tool, but we need the CV Curve tool. And to get the CV Curve tool, we need to go all the way to the top and go to Create and click on CV Curve Tool. Once I've done that, I simply want to zoom in to this object here, and I'd like to go ahead and first hit 6, so I'll be in Shaded View, and then turn on um, X-Ray. And I want to simply click one time here, go up, and then go all the way across, and then down into here, back up, and I'm just kind of following this shape the best I can. And then I'll hit my enter button. I'll then control the vertices, and I want to simply scale the top um, two points here down flat of which they are now done. I'll go ahead and hit F8 twice. I'll select the object, go to Surfaces, and click on Revolve. And my Revolve is on the Z-axis by 1. I'll then go ahead and select the curve, and I want to control those vertices. The first thing I'd like to do is grab these vertices here, hit W, and I need to select this one here as well. And I'd just like to kind of scale these down a little bit. Go ahead and scale these down as well. And I'll also move those this way. And I'll go ahead and leave it about like that. I'll then hit F8 twice to get out of that mode. I'll then select my object, go to Edit, Delete by Type, and click on History. I'll then select the Curve. And delete it. I'll then move this object by going to center pivot point up somewhat into position and I'll hit 3 to go into smooth mode. I'll then select the vertices and I'd simply like to select down this object and select these vertices and I'll move these back a little bit. Something similar to this. And I'm just going to adjust some of these points until I get the general idea or shape that I'd like. So also we'll go back to perspective view. And we can see we need to have a gap here that needs to be closed up. I'll go to polygon mode and then edge. And then I'll right click while holding down control. And I'll double click that edge to select it. I then have like to go to edit polygons and extrude the edge. And I'm simply going to scale this down and then move it back. Hit G again, and I'll reset the manipulator tool and drag it back farther. And with that, we are now done with the start of our lightsaber. In the next lesson, we'll start detailing.